Hi, my name is Sydney Ellis, and welcome to the Western Michigan University graduation ceremony of 2017. I'm currently standing in an empty Shaw Theater, which any moment now will be filled up with hundreds on hundreds of graduation students ready to receive their degrees. But first, I wanted to talk to them about what their experience was like here at Western. We have students representing the colleges of business, aviation, dance, education, theater, engineering, and design. We also have a lot of students from the international program, undergrad, and graduate program. We even have student athletes, both varsity and and dub. So let's get to talking to your graduate students. I've realized this since I've been at Western, but recently, as we all know, WMU went to the Cotton Bowl. So naturally, I went with some friends and we drove down to Texas and we stopped halfway in some random town in Missouri and um, we went out to eat at Buffalo Wild Wings. It was like the only place in this middle of nowhere town. And um, we saw some families, you know, they had like W's on their clothes or hats, whatever. And we just assumed it was some other random university in Missouri that we didn't know. And I mean, we were decked out as well, of course, got to represent WMU. Um, and then they came over and introduced themselves and were like, hey, fellow Broncos. And everyone was like, oh, go Broncos. You know, it was, I mean, it was such a crazy moment that we just happened to meet up in Buffalo Wild Wings in a random city in Missouri, you know, like, it's just great that we have this huge family of Broncos wherever we go. I mean, we're surrounded. And now as alumni, we're going to become part of this bigger family. The faculty taught us a lot of uh, practical information, but they also taught us, more importantly, the, the way to process and think about information, so the way to go about real-world problems and specifically engineering problems. This has not only led to success in the classroom, but also success in research, professional life, and just life in general. For me and for most of the class of 2017, I'd say coming in as a freshman, going 1-11 and that freshman year, and then watching the team grow and develop as they become seniors, and then going 13-0 and our senior year, and uh, just watching the whole community like develop and you know rally around the team, and also hosting, hosting college game day, that was a pretty neat event, and then uh, watching all the other MAC championships and all of Western's games and everything. But that is the biggest thing, and then just going through and hosting the NCHC uh, hockey playoffs, that was a fun experience as a Western student as well, so thank you. Um, I don't really think that there's just one moment. It's more of a accumulation of moments here at Western. So from traveling to cities like Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., and New York City, to working with the artists that the department brings in for us every year, there have been so many moments where I've realized that I have what it takes to succeed in this industry. But really, all the thanks goes to my faculty. Megan Slater, David Kerwin, Sharon Garber, Jeremy Blair, Whitney Moncrief, Carolyn Pavlik, Nina Nelson, Laura Cornish, and Monique Haley. Uh, the past four years, these faculty have really opened their doors, arms, and hearts to all of us here and helped me overcome all the obstacles I faced during my time here. Without them, there's really no way I'd be walking across this stage today or attending a master's program in the fall. So thank you all so much. There's not enough ways to express the gratitude I feel for you. I played for the co-ed water polo team here at Western Michigan University. I loved everything about it, really, the people, the games, my favorite memory would be the Chicago tournament and the fact that I actually met my fiance Chad my freshman year playing on the team where we became just instant best friends and then a few months later we were dating and I really without this team I probably would have never met him since he's a completely different major than I am. I started in 2015 as coming in as an incoming student I had a student ambassador a tour do a tour for me around campus and I really enjoyed it and I was like hey I want to do something like that but I was too shy so in 2015 I joined the student ambassador office and I had a wonderful time I became out of that shy and comfort zone and I started seeing my prospective students around campus so I enjoyed my time and I was grateful to be a student ambassador thank you guys so much yes uh, I had always always wanted to go to Ireland, so studying abroad through Western was the best decision I'd ever made because I was able to fulfill my dream. I had never left the country, I was the farthest I'd ever been from home, and I was alone. I was able to adapt to different cultures and become familiar with other languages, and I was able to bring all I'd learned educationally and personally back to Western. Um, I still remember that day like it was yesterday. We were sitting around my parents' room actually and we were just all laying in bed talking and all of a sudden I got the phone call 
that I was accepted into the special education program. I remember fighting back the tears, and when I finally hung up the phone after saying thank you a billion times, we all just cried together because I have wanted to be a teacher since I was in first grade. And just having that conversation just made me realize that my dreams were coming true. Uh, as I've been going through the program, I've met wonderful professors like Dr. Witten, Dr. Hogue, Dr. Rao, all of these professors that have paved the way for people like myself and other future teachers that we can be the best special education teachers and just make good differences in the, stu in the schools that we'll be placed in in the future. Um, the program is great. You get so much practice with students. You get in so many practicums. You get to work with students one-on-one -on -one in a whole classroom. And it's just making such advancements. You're seeing people in practicums earlier and for longer periods of time, which I think is great because you really don't know if you want to be in the field of study until you're really working with kids. Mm -hmm. And it's just been amazing. And I thank Western for this opportunity. And I thank the special education program for really preparing me for my field of study. Well, aside from being the sixth uh, member of my family to come to Western, I, I, I've been involved in the sailing team and got the opportunity to share my passion for the sport of sailing with other college students and travel throughout the Midwest sailing and competing. So it's been an gr awesome experience. Um, well, I chose Western and the dance department here because of a unique interaction I had when I first auditioned. Um, five years ago now, I was walking down the hallway at the audition on a break, and I came across a bulletin board for the touring company of our department. And as I was looking at it, one of the, dan the, one of the dance professors, who's now like a really close mentor of mine, David Kerwin, he came up and he was like, well, what do you think? And I was reading the biography of the alumni that had set a piece in the company that year, and I was like, well, she's doing exactly what I want to be doing when I graduate. Mm -hmm. And he laughed and he was like, well, you should probably come here then. And, you know, he didn't know me or where else I was looking or what I was even planning on doing with my life. And yet he was the only professor at any of the universities that had bothered to make a personal connection with me. Um, four years later now, that alumni is somebody I can go to in the real world for advice and help. And while he doesn't remember it, that personal interaction was really something that made me decide to come here because I thought if he was as kind and welcoming to me as a stranger, you know, I can only imagine how close I would get with the faculty here. And luckily I was really right. They have done all in their power to make me ready for the dance world and I owe them everything. So yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, there was the time I found out who my big brother was. Uh, he ended up being one of my best friends here. Uh, and then when I put together an alumni dinner, uh, that took a couple of months of hard work. And then my, a few of my brothers pulled me outside of the tent and they said that they, this was the best dinner they had been to in years. And, and that really meant a lot. So. I want to thank my parents, uh, my mom for being amazing, my dad for pushing me and by fiscally supporting me, and then my, you know, my best friends like Randy and Tillman and oh, the amazing sales professors, uh, they really built the program. The WMU India Gateway Study Abroad Trip allowed me the opportunity to meet a variety of different people, from villages and slums to corporations and universities. I truly forged strong relationships with people I know I'm going to meet again. I now know the true meaning of what a global citizen means, and I can't wait to impact the world. Thank you, WMU. Honestly, each one of them was life-changing. Uh, studying abroad, I went to the Dominican Republic, studied advertising and business over there. That's actually how I decided I wanted to be an advertising major. Uh, giving back to the community. It started with a class, a coaching class, where I got to work with people with special needs and disabilities. And that just really drove that I do want to get into coaching one day. And working with the WMU basketball team, same. Like getting that firsthand experience in athletics definitely drove home the fact that I want to work in the athletic field, be able to get in advertising and promotion with sports marketing, and just be able to change the world like that. Uh, through the journey, I've been doing a lot of studies, and I'm always getting closer and closer to being ready. Uh, but one moment when I felt really proud and uh, was when I treated my very first client at the Unified Clinics on East Campus. Uh, I was in the pediatric clinic, and I was like nervous up to it. And then afterwards, I was so proud I had accomplished it that I was like, taking selfies with my OT polo on, with my name badge showing. Um, and at that moment, I knew like I could do this OT thing for as long as I live. And with that, I love the OT department, and I'd like to give a shout out to my OT cohort out in the crowd. So hello! Well, the best part is by far being able to represent your university as an athlete. I mean, your hard work and dedication that's recognized is truly unbelievable. The community around Kalamazoo and Western Michigan University have been absolutely amazing to me. And I know that in the future, I can look back on these memories and friends and family that I've gained here and just smile about it. I mean, I've really had my 
best four years here at Western and I am forever thankful. And I would like to thank everybody at the athletic department for getting me here and developing me into the individual I am today. And I would also like to thank my family, those who are here today and those who aren't. You guys are my strength and I love you all. I feel so prepared to be out in the work field. I'm actually already working at an autism center and I've had over six practicum opportunities at Western and I'm so thankful for all of these opportunities I've had. I feel so prepared to be um, working and being in graduate school. I feel like I um, am just so thankful <laughs> and um, I'm very thankful to the Honors College, my family, my friends and my boyfriend for all of their support um, during this time at Western because it's been kind of hectic but mm -hmm. I feel like I've accomplished a lot and I'm very proud of myself and I'm excited for what's to come. So one of my most memorable experiences is the night I spent at Parkview and I didn't exactly choose to do so. I was working on a tough assignment and I was really determined to finish it before I went home, but I got really, really tired, had trouble keeping my eyes open, and so I decided like a 20, 30 minute power nap was what I needed. And so I got under my little desk, used my pillow as my, or used my backpack as my pillow, and I properly fell asleep, and I woke up five hours later around 4 a.m., and it was pitch black, was a little creepy, and the empty Parkview halls, and I decided I felt really good, so I decided to keep working, and I worked until about 9 a.m. when all the professors were coming back and looking at me kind of weird because I was wearing the same clothes two days in a row. <laughs> well, over the last four years, uh, my graphic design class and I have really bonded. We've really become like brothers and sisters, basically. We help each other out outside of school, and we, we were friends outside of the classroom, and that's what's been really important to me. Um, my favorite project was I, we had to do a data, a data visualization where we picked a set of data and recorded it and then found a way to like, make it look interesting. So I chose Blink-182's music and I broke, down it, broke it down by vocal part changes in all their songs kind of to reveal patterns that like, nobody had ever noticed before. Um, it was awesome. I had a school excuse to listen to my favorite band ever and I got it into the Frostick School of Art student juried exhibition this year. Uh, my favorite experience at Western would be having the opportunity to gain research experience thanks to Dr. Bert Jacob. This experience has helped me apply my knowledge and critical thinking abilities to real world situations. Yeah, so for the past three years, the 2013 Medallion Scholars have been working to create and implement a program called Future Leaders of Kalamazoo, where each medallion was paired with a sixth grader, and once a week we would go to Millwood Middle School to help them with homework or watch their after school activities. And we brought them to campus a few times to watch basketball games and show productions. And just last week we had a graduation ceremony for them as they'll be going on to high school. And the whole purpose of the program is to really promote furthering their education after college and making use of the amazing resource they have with the Kalamazoo Promise. Well, one of the greatest parts about being at WMU is all the people I've had the uh, privilege to work with. So whether it's students in my classes or outside the class, the staff of the different offices on campus or the faculty that I've uh, learned from, it's been really great to tap into all the knowledge they have and sort of expand my own knowledge base. And the most wonderful part of it all is that they've been a really welcoming community, really wonderful, and being an international student and coming here where I didn't have any family, that was a really huge part of uh, the, my experience at Western. As I said before, I'm currently in Shaw Theater where you can see hundreds and hundreds of different college students are ready to receive their degrees in front of you, the parents and family of loved ones. Congratulations to the class of 2017. Go Broncos!